So I've shown you guys how to make money by flipping items from the trader onto the flea market. And I've also shown you guys how to make money by using the hideout. So today, as the title of this video suggests, I'm going to be showing you guys 28 money making barters from all of the different traders at all of the different trader levels. So if you're a lower level player and you don't have your traders up super high, there's probably something in here for you. So just stick around until the end. But as I mentioned, we have 28 different items, so I don't want to waste any time. I want to get right into it. But I do want to let you know that all of these barters that we're taking a look at today at the end of the video i'm gonna barter for all of them and we're gonna see how much money we make as you can see right here we're sitting at ten and a half million. First things first we're gonna go over to proper level two and it's gonna be these 60 round magazines for 545 ak's you're gonna barter a thermometer for it and you can do up to seven i believe this one is locked behind the ice cream cones task i can't remember off the top of my head but once you get it this one is very very good next up is gonna be at proper level four we've got three here we're gonna be looking at the valde one by six scope the aks 74 you and the ash 12 assault rifle so the valde is not bad if you can get your vodkas really cheap you can make about 20k on this barter the aks 74u is also really really good if you can get these radios close to 100k right now i think they're sitting at around 140k which is still profitable basically you're going to sell all the high value parts off of this onto the flea market and you will make a little bit of profit there and then lastly is going to be the ash 12 one mcb and one bundle of wires this one is really really good i've been using this for multiple multiple wipes in a row really love this barter next up is going to be therapist at level two we've got the pistol case this one is really really good i believe you can make about 50k profit on this one alone so every trader reset you buy a pistol case and you make about 50k you'll make even more profit if you're crafting these piles of meds kind of like i told you guys to be doing in my hideout video but this one is very very good Good. moving on to therapist level three you're going to be doing the items case barter for the o scopes and piles of meds again if you're crafting the piles of meds this is even better and o scopes i believe they're sitting around 100k right now they're actually pretty high so i wouldn't do this one right now but the other day when i checked it o scopes were sitting around 99 to 100k and that is super super good and then lastly at therapist level four is going to be the money case i already went over this one in a previous video on flea market flipping but this one is really really good you can make upwards of 100k every trade to reset on this one by itself next up is going to be skier level two and that's going to be the rfb for two gas analyzers this one's not too bad not a huge money maker but you can make a good bit off of it and then after that over at skier level three is going to be the td skeleton grip this one is going to decline very very quickly this is a gunsmith part so make your money off of this while you can because it's not going to last forever and then finally at level four we've got the voodoo scope this one has been a favorite of mine even if you want to do it just to have the voodoo scopes and use them this one is super Super, super cheap much cheaper than buying the voodoos off of the flea market moving on from skier we're going to jump over to peacekeeper and he's got a couple of barters over here for us to take a look at the first one is going to be peacekeeper level two and it's going to be these m67 grenades if you can get these zibos cheap enough and if you can sell the m67s on the flea for high enough you can actually make pretty good money off of this one and then at peacekeeper level three we've got the uzi pro for a bikizi cookbook this one is great because basically you just take off some of the parts sell them on the flea and then sell the rest of it to peacekeeper it's not bad at all all right we're done with peacekeeper we're going to jump over to mechanic now there's going to be a lot over here so bear with me first one is going to be at mechanic level one and we're going to be looking at the uzi again so this one you're going to barter for the pipe wrench and this one's pretty good i want to say it makes around like 10 to 20k profit just on this one alone which isn't bad at all and then an honorable mention here is going to be the tool set this one is rapidly declining as well but this one was very very good early on in the wipe if you can still make money with this one go for it but just make sure you're going to be profitable when you buy all this stuff to do the barter over at mechanic level two obviously we got the tried and true bitcoin this one has basically always been good and you're going to make about 50k every single trader reset off of this one again at mechanic two we've got the glock 17 i've used this one for multiple wipes this one is very very good as well because these wd-40s are always super cheap on the flea market and then you got the as foul rotor 43 pistol grip and buffer tube this one is pretty good later on in the wipe these milks are going to get very expensive so this one is not going to be good forever jump it over to mechanic level three we've got the zenitco ak74m this one is also pretty good and you can get four of them per reset i can't remember who told me about this last wipe but you know who you are and then lastly is going to be the uzi 50 round magazine you buy one of these pox rams for i think they're like 12k on the flea and if we go ahead and jump over here and take a look these things are selling for around 25k so you're basically doubling your money and you can buy six of them per reset jumping over to ragman this one is going to get a little bit complicated but bear with me i'll explain everything first one we're going to be taking a look at is at ragman level one and that's going to be for the packet as you can see here you need three half masks 
Do not buy these half masks off the flea. If you do, this will not be profitable. What you're going to want to do is jump over to fence, go over to the gear. And a lot of times he's going to have those half masks and they go for 3,400 rubles a piece. So all in all, about 10K in for the half mask. And you can get yourself that Paco, which I believe sells for around 27K. Jumping over to Ragman level two is going to be the UN helmet. Same thing again with these glasses. Jump over to fence, buy these off of him. Do not buy them on the flea. You will not make profit. You buy two of these and at fence, he's selling them for 2836 rubles a piece and then you just sell the helmet right back to ragman for 17k and then the last one we're going to take a look at ragman level two is going to be this lbt three-day pack one cordura which i craft these a lot and then you go ahead and throw this thing on the flea market i believe it's going for around 40k so that's not bad at all the cordura if you craft it is going to cost you 12k all right so moving on from ragman we're going to jump over to jaeger level one and as you guys know i've covered this one a lot it's going to be the dog tag case basically if you can spend less than 190 5k on these two items you're gonna make profit by bartering for this dog tag case and selling it right back to therapist because she pays 195k for it next up is going to be the scav vest if you can get these slickers cheap enough the scav vests are selling for around 20k on the flea so this one is not bad at all and then lastly on jaeger is going to be the reap ir scope mount this one is good right now because this is required for a gunsmith task but it will not always be good like this so make your money on this one while you can now as a little bit of a bonus we're going to take a look at ref i've got a few you here that are worth mentioning if you guys don't play arena then you can skip this part but if you do play arena and you find yourself with a lot of gp coins pay attention to these right here so the first one at ref level one is going to be for the key tool 65 gp coins you can sell this right to therapist for around 470k rubles so that's not bad at all jumping over to ref level two you're going to have the grenade case and the med case the grenade case sells for about 330k on the flea so that's not bad at all and then the med case you can sell it right to therapist for i believe around 220k it might be a little bit more it might be a little bit less i don't remember whatsoever and then finally over at ref level three is going to be the ulock 12 gp coins you can throw this thing up on the flea for about 90k rubles pretty good money maker overall right there now again with these ref ones this is just if you have an abundance of gp coins i personally use my gp coins to buy these cpc plate carriers so i don't spend them a lot on making money with some of these different items but i thought i would throw them in there if you guys wanted an easy way to make a little bit of extra money okay so that is all of the barters i have to show to you what i'm gonna do now is go ahead and buy every single one of them except for the ones that might not be in profit right now i'm gonna skip those and then we're gonna go ahead and sell everything and i will come back to you guys with a final profit number on all of those items okay so everything is sold i want to say i ended up doing about 22 or 23 of the barters i definitely didn't do all of them i didn't do like the scav vest the valde the aks 74 there was a few that i didn't do but in total we made 1,898,119 rubles so for about five to ten minutes worth of my time i was able to make almost two million rubles and you can do this every single trader reset and keep in mind this is just barters this is only barters this is not including like things that you buy and flip on the flea market it's also not including your raids or your scav runs or anything this is just one way that you can make money and we were able to make about two mil in less than 10 minutes i don't really know of a better way to make money than that so i would highly recommend you guys add this into like your little trader routine it will make you a ton of money anyways that's gonna do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys learned something if you guys have any more barters that you personally use to make a ton of money please be sure to leave it down in the comments below. I'm sure other people would greatly appreciate that. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.